Hello all. I've been uh, messing around with the XFCE4 under Arch Linux and looking at its uh, layout, um, the default layout like we have here and with the bottom panel and the top panel. Uh, if you go to your file manager and in the address bar type in .conf config and go to XFCE4 you see there's uh, different folders of course panels and stuff and this is the default setup alright uh, what I suggest just in case is just right click on XFCE4 the folder inside config and whatever archive manager you're using uh, create an archive so it's a backup and create and in this case it's only a 3.4 kilobytes so you can upload upload that to a cloud service or whatever so close this down and say if you go to uh, your settings and you uh, go to panel and you go to panel 2 and you click the minus sign it'll remove that and it's gone but if you decide you want it back um, you can still get that back the way everything was set to default so um, open a terminal if you have a login manager such as slim or something else uh, disable it so in my case it'd be sudo system ctl disable slim and I'm gonna perform a, a reboot and then uh, we'll be at the command prompt here we are at the uh, login prompt so you log in as your user and uh, we'll just change directory to .conf.config. Do an ls. You see the xfce4 folder is there. So um, the easiest way to do this is uh, rm remove dash r for, recur for recursive. Then xfce tab completion should do it. And it's gone. So we'll change directory. Home. And just type in start x. And what will happen is the wizard will come back up and say as you did when you first installed it use default config and there's your panel back same goes for many of the settings uh, that you see on the desktop uh, including in the mouse scrolling of the uh, workspaces and the workspaces itself you remove it you want it back you can um, get it back by that and as I said if it fails uh, let's try this again say let's uh, remove and remove your user and then uh, we'll just do a logout and again change directory dot config ls this time um, if you really if you get stuck I'll show you the command to restore the compressed file if you made it a tar.gz it'd be a tar a dash a space dash z z whatever x v f and then x f c e four dot t e r uh, press tab it should complete it change directory again start x there we go it's back okay so thanks for watching and stay tuned uh, for the next uh, part